Hey guys, it's Samantha and this is my channel Mindful Dinosaur. Welcome back to my channel unless you're new here then welcome. Today I will be getting into some tips on how to handle Thanksgiving. So let's get right into things. So Thanksgiving is definitely very hard for someone with an eating disorder. It's very focused around food, even though it's like you're meant to be grateful for things, but it is a huge thing about food, which can be very scary for someone with an eating disorder. I speak from personal experience. So one of the things uh, that I used to do when it was Thanksgiving time, I would watch my mom cook and I would just eat all the foods that go into it and that would stress me out. So one thing I recommend is not watching whoever's cooking cook or if you are cooking the meal then just be conscientious of how you're feeling around the meal and take a break if you need to. So another thing is that when I when I'm done with Thanksgiving dinner I feel very full even though it's something like a normal amount that I ate. So just remember that sometimes the fullness is psychological and it's not actually that you ate too much, but there really isn't eating too much at Thanksgiving or in general because you can eat however much you want, within reason of course, but it's a time for family and you shouldn't have it focused around just around food. And I know that's easy to say, so hard to do. And then another thing is, which kind of helped me, especially if you're in the early stages of recovery, is knowing what food is going to be there in the future and choosing out what you want to have before the food is actually put out in front of you so you don't get too overwhelmed. So say you have a certain meal plan, make sure to follow that. But if you want more, go get more. There's nothing wrong with that and you should feel completely okay. There's nothing wrong with going to get more food. But you need to at least follow your meal plan. You can't have any less. You can't compensate the day before or the week before, you have to eat everything you're supposed to eat. That's the big one, compensation. I even saw a post the other day, it's like, challenging your fear foods by compensating beforehand isn't actually challenging your fear foods. So that just spoke out to me because I know that in the past and still now, when I try to face a fear food or get over just a scary food that I have, I try to avoid certain things beforehand or afterwards. Um, I still have a terrible fear of weight gain so this time is very scary for me and I don't know it's hard to just be grateful for your family and like everything when you're so focused on food so try to make it about the experience and not about the food enjoy the food but enjoy it with your family I know it's kind of difficult now with COVID and not always being able to travel or having family come even if you're on your own, just try to make a Zoom call. Just reach out to one of your family members and just try to make it fun and a good experience. Make memories because the more you make bad memories on Thanksgiving, the more scared you'll be of it the next year and the year after and it'll just make things harder. So do your best to just make good memories. And one thing that you might want to do is beforehand, before a big meal, write down everything you're grateful for, just to remind yourself of why you're there and what's good about Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving is amazing. And maybe just bring it with you to the table, have your little grateful reminders that have nothing to do with food or your body. And then another thing is, I know family members can comment on weight or their diets, on Thanksgiving because the New Year's coming around a lot of people have New Year's resolutions or they talk about the Thanksgiving meal how they're gonna gain 10 pounds from one meal one thing you can do there's a few things you can do try to redirect a conversation I know that's so hard especially when you're really not in the mood if you're struggling but bring up something like about a celebrity or something that happened on the news try to stay away from politics but yeah, so just bring up something casual, try to redirect it. If you have like a family member that you trust at Thanksgiving, tell them something like give them a signal to have them redirect a conversation or go and take a break, but give like a little snapping or like twirling your hair or something, only something they would know to be able to fix the issue or have them step aside with you, calm down, bring it back to the table, redirect the conversation. 
So even doing something like taking a walk beforehand, a short one, not extraneous of course, if your provider allows it, if you're allowed to take a short walk, getting outside in the cold air can like calm emotions down or even just stepping outside if it's cold out can calm your emotions down. So that's really important or just taking a break whenever you need it is very important. No one's going to be mad at you for taking a break. At least they shouldn't be and it's your right to take a break when you need to. Yeah, so Thanksgiving can be super hard, super scary. I know for me it is like the hardest holiday. It has been for quite some time because it's so focused around food and diets and everyone's talking about their diet and it's just so stressful because everything is focused around food. But it doesn't have to be. You can change that. You can make it your own. You can make it positive memories. It doesn't just have to be about the food. So when you're feeling bad about your body or scared of certain foods, maybe even just challenge yourself. Challenge yourself with one item. You don't have to do every scary item on one plate because you might get too overwhelmed. But if you want to do it, go for it. Challenge yourself. But try to challenge yourself with one food. One food that's scary or try a dessert maybe. Um, just do a little thing and you should be proud of yourself for getting through Thanksgiving. It's so tough, but it's worth it. Thanksgiving is amazing. You get to see family, you get to see friends. So just remember that it's possible. You are so strong and amazing and you are worth recovery. And Thanksgiving is just one step to be able to get to recovery. So that's what I have for this year's getting through the holidays. So if you want to see like a Christmas one, let me know because I'll totally do that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to follow me on my social media. They are linked down in the description below. So let me know if you guys have any more video ideas and I will be glad to do them. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.